This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. Whoa, 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 hang on. Those, oh. those are the old titles. That's something's changed because Boat Bros is no longer. Can we just have a moment of silence for that? Okay, that's enough. Right. We have now rebranded ourselves. Yeah, we've upgraded. Do -do -do -do. We need one of those sound effects. We have upgraded to Super Poker Brothers. What have we done that lock? Super is better. Like <laughs> when you have Nintendo before you want a Super Nintendo, it's just better. Super, isn't it? When you have Market, you want Supermarket. And then when you have uh, Man, you want a Superman. That's a, that's a very nice explanation lock. But it's also because some wanker took boat bros. We, we chose boat because the Huawei um, press event that I went to and some Yeah, German... you're, you're a running joke that yeah. most people probably don't understand why we are called, we were called boat bros. And we call it just boat, boat, boat. It doesn't matter now because we are now super bokeh bros. What's up bokeh broving? Bokeh broving? This is suke, suke fucking hell. <laughs> What's up my bokeh loving brothers and sisters? You're watching Super Bokeh Bros, a show all about discussing and dissecting the latest news and happenings in the world of photography. So let's go. Let's start off with the news. I think we should call the news something a bit fancy. I mean, news is a bit boring, isn't it? It's just four letters. It's, but it's, it's, it's news. It, it is well, news. This is the That's internet. It has new. to be a. It has to be a bit sparkier, yeah. Have it something like the, the hottest shit on the net. Top dog shit on the nets. Tin 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 oh, nets. Okay. Top what, shit. What, what do you think? What do you think? Um. Let's just call a news working title for now, yeah. <laughs> let's speed thing up with talking about Olympus. O M D E M one Mark Three. This is actually yeah, a new camera, is. isn't it? I suddenly realized, especially last time when we revealed the. Pentax KP KP K K R K R KP <laughs> KP Yeah KP <laughs> I mock about how it looks like mm. a, from the 90s This looks like those from the 90s It's kind of cool it's when it's in the 90s not now but yeah. actually Olympus is just as bad it's it's just full no. on light rider <laughs> No 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 Olympus is worse because they're trying to be cool Pentax isn't trying to be cool. Pentax is so uncool, but they're not trying to be cool. And that's why Pentax is cool. It just makes me so sad because like the Olympus obviously make a lot of great looking cameras. Like the OM-1 is the best looking SLR ever, in my opinion. And then of course we have the EP-1. They start this and look at that. Look at this, how good looking this is rather than just the, the now the EM1 mark whatever so small let's just small let's just let's just have let's lock have a moment with his camera if we just put a, a black screen just your sound that would look so that sounds so dodgy look at this let's so small oh small let's just how good looking this is oh so small but you won't be excited about small I don't know, some what? people might like small things. <laughs> Should we move on? Should we move on? I, I put this away. Let's move on. Let's, Let's move, move on. on. Let's move Let's on. on. Fujifilm X-T4 is... A yeah, this is really exciting stuff. X-T4. Because I've been so close to getting the X-T3. Actually, actually X-T3 was just in the last photo kino, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, the rumours say they will have a, a selfie screen and then you have uh, in body stabilization, which is right. interesting because in the Fujifilm lineup, for now, only the X H one has in the body stabilization, and that's the only thing it do better than X T three. There are rumors that there won't be X H two for this year, and it will be next year. They're gonna have to have something incredible for the X H two if they're gonna have Ibis in X T four. Because if they've got Ibis in X T four, I'm just gonna go get that. But that I mean, they, they, I think they still. Uh, area, uh, a market that they can release an X, X2, like look at Sony yeah. A7S. That's still area that the A7, even the A7S Mark II do better than all the other A7, uh, especially low light, low light yeah. performance is so good on the A7S too, even better than A7 Mark III, better than S1, S1 Edge. I also want to mention that the tilty flippy screens, they seem to be putting tilty flippy screens Oh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and that pisses off some of these um, you know enthusiasts who are like I don't want to vlog I don't care about vlogging uh, I don't need to don't don't use it to. then exactly the X1, <laughs> the X100V5 screen is so beautiful it's so nicely done it's I great have, I haven't tried it oh I'm sorry I really hope that I, will, I, I can try it in, uh, in CB plus and hope that they don't close because of the virus Oh I'm yeah, still, I, I still really want to go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space, or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 7 customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. Oh, we have to talk about Canon and Nikon. We kind of, kind of like the old days. Oh, mm. oh, it's Canon and Nikon. I mean, 1DX3 has been announced properly some time ago. And then just recently, the D6, that was yesterday, I believe? Actually, I just realized it doesn't make sense for me to say yesterday because by the time this video goes out, it might not oh, yeah. be yesterday. <laughs> 1DX Mark III is the 20 FPS uh, burst with when you're shooting live view. That's actually faster than any other mirrors out there. I mean, especially if you talk about full frame. Yeah, Sony A9. Sony A9, they only do electronic 20 FPS. So they can do mirrorless camera with 20 FPS mechanical shutter if they really wanted to. Mm. Will they do it? Probably not yet, because they still want people to buy the oh, 1EX3. Yeah, after the Olympic. <laughs> I think yeah, it is really imp impressive. Like also 16 FPS when you use a uh, viewfinder, like use it like a DSLR. 16 FPS with the mirror flapping. It's like e-Honda. Pow, 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 pow. But interestingly, when you use live view, when you use electronic shutter, yes, they have electronic shutter, uh, yeah. completely silent mode. It's also top at 20 FPS. That's a little bit interesting. Like. Uh, most of the mirrors out there, when you use electronic shutter, it can do faster burst. But this is the same, 20 FPS. Okay. Also, if I jump to talk about, I, I skip to talk about Lecon D6 just allowance, when they do uh, electronic shutter, it's actually slower than with mirror. The D6 is a bit disappointing, to, to be honest. I mean, there, there's some news about, they, yeah. they made some promotional videos about D6. Uh, what was supposed to be about D6 and they just used D5 and then it seems like they've taken a bit longer than Canon to make the announcement and then when they do announce, and announce it, it's it's just... Well, they only emphasize in, oh, we got a really good AF, but it's, for now, it's, yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, they, they just said it's like, oh, the fastest AF they've done. Okay, I would expect that when I pay that amount of money. And yeah. I, I guess also the wireless, you know, for, for work when you're shooting, when you're taking photos, you're a sports photographer or something, and then you want to transfer your photos and stuff, you know, for quick, quick publishing to, to, to the I hope they don't use the black bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the bridge is snapped. Uh. But one, one news that has excited me from Canon though, ah, oh, five. Before we we're planning for this episode, we will talk about, should we talk about this? Because it's just, it's just some unbelievable rumors, like AK. Turns yeah. out it's real. It's all real. Let's let's run through the specs list, yeah. And I've got this button here. It's a it's a BS button. This is Canon we're talking about. There must be something, <laughs> right? Okay. Let's let's go through the list. Oh, okay. Uh, in body stabilization. I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> Let me test that out first. What? It was working yesterday. <laughs> the, oh, it's the bullshit I, button is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the bullshit. <laughs> really? Right. What, what's wrong with inbody stabilization? Like everyone can do that. No, I, 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 I just wanted, to, I just wanted to test it. So the next thing is tw twelve FPS when you use uh, mechanical shutter and electronic shutter, twenty FPS. But this is a forty megapixel camera, isn't it? This would be shooting. Uh, supposed to be, yeah. Oh, and then and then AK. <laughs> that is <laughs> probably AK, but it's ten times crop, and you lose your first child. <laughs> crop four times crop. Cup holder. What? <laughs> okay. Connection to the internet. Three times crop. In AK at fifteen FPS. Crop factor vid. I mean, that's what they all think it's going to be. 
Oh, actually, for AK, maybe you, you can't use dual pixel AF in AK, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot the dual pixel AF. Manual focus only. This, this, is, this is still good, isn't it? It's still good that Canon's developing new mirrorless cameras, and they're trying. They, they better do, because they already said that they have stopped developing EF lenses, so... What is the point of DSLRs? Do I buy a DSLR in 2020 and beyond? Or is mirrorless the future? I mean, there's the, there, there are people like, like hanging to their last DSLR as well. I mean, DSLR still going for now, but what is your next camera, to be honest? I mean, some of the people who do like DSLRs, I mean, what do they like it for? It's mainly ergonomics. Yeah, yeah. In that's, terms of use. It, it's but hard. you can get a S1. You want ergonomic. Yeah, S1. let's let's get let's get mirrorless camera that is exactly the same size and heavier than a 5D Mark IV. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. And the optical Not viewfinder. Not very good in AF. I mean, people were saying that DSLRs for for pro use, which which I can kind of see. You still see pros using mostly DSLRs. It's more rugged. 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 The battery life is better. Yeah, yeah, that's better much better. Still used for DSLRs for now. I think it will come to a point where DSLRs are more. It becomes the novelty. When mirrorless first came out, it was the novelty. It was okay. Look, it looks like a pen, a pen F. Oh. Maybe it's just my wishful thinking that DSLRs will become like retro cool and a bit smaller. You know, it doesn't have to be about, okay, it has all these features and stuff like that. It's just a beautiful looking camera. Just get a Fujifilm. Well, well with, yeah, with... It doesn't with, have OVF. Uh, optical viewfinder as well. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a rangefinder. X-Pro too. Uh, uh, X-Pro X, X, X something. That's, that's, that's not through the lens, is it? This... No, but... You, you might be shocked to see this, but I bought one of these. This is the Why? future. <laughs> this is the future of DSLRs. Now, I absolutely slated this at a time we reviewed this, and you know, I made lots of jokes about it, but I think it's damn cool. There's some problems, I'm not, I'll admit it. I, I think this is what they should be doing with DSLRs. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that. Nobody really cares about this anymore, apart from the pros. It should be something like this. It be, should, should, should be something like your Olympus. It should look like that. Forget all the big features, you know, it's got dials, physical dials, just like the X100, that was made retro cool. They should yeah, make it like that. Yeah. Well, probably, I, I finally got what you mean, because last time in the Pentax video, you talk about that as well. You say that Pentax should, uh, you, you think Pentax should go back, uh, look at the history and release something like, um, yeah, exactly like what you just said. So, uh, so you think it should, you, it should transform into like a, a fun camera. Yeah, I mean... Rather than like, oh, first race. I mean, there's going to be people who, who say, oh, it's, the camera's just a tool, as long as it takes a picture, that's fine. But you've, people have got to admit that it's, a, it's a, a nice toy, it's a nice gadget that people like to own these days. It's not just, it's not just a, a camera that, oh, it takes pictures, otherwise you use, use any old shit, right? You want to have a gadget that looks cool, and when you got it in your hand, you think, oh yeah, I like, I like using this. I like these dials. It looks looks pretty cool with this lens. It looks uh, classic and retro and stuff like that. This is this is just a bit too thick. I mean, when you see this compared to the actual film SLRs, you can see how much thicker they are. But this this is this is pretty good. In my opinion, that is the future of DSLRs. It's going backwards. It works for like it works for Fuji. That's my opinion. I think, yeah, so That's I mean, all. what do you guys think? What would you like to see in a DSLR if you think there's a future? Or maybe there isn't a future in DSLRs. We'd love to see your comments down below. Or is mirrorless the future? Is it, is it the future? I've seen the future and it's in my hands. It's a, it's a mirrorless camera. Right here, I'm looking at the future. Maybe that's the future for you. Don't know. But please let us know. We'll uh, Comment. probably below argue with each other it just make this video like more engagement yeah <laughs>
but we'll also interact. We'll, we'll join in the conversation down below. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, my lovely bokeh and bokeh. Oh, I messed it up again, Bo didn't I? And, Thanks uh, for watching, yeah, bokeh loving brothers and sisters. And share and like, even dislike and comment. Don't dislike. <laughs> yeah. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>